bit about Deborah Reese, um, who is a registered nurse, a clinical nurse specialist. She's got so many initials, um, all in the healthcare field, and she provides healthcare leaders with proven strategies and a 12-step process that stops the hemorrhage of nurse turnover and provides effective outcomes in five minutes or less for in busy clinical settings. She is an author, a speaker, and an internationally known educator who shares her innovative ideas for supporting clinical staff and creating team support. Welcome, Deborah Reese. Thank you, Nancy. Um, I'm known as the empowered nurse advocate, and my journey started when I was working in an inner city critical care unit. I had about five years experience and I was one of the seasoned nurses on the night shift. And I remember being in a patient's room one night, setting up an IV drip like I'd done a hundred times before and realized I was just going through the motions. My joy was gone. And I thought to myself, is this all there is to nursing? Have you ever put a question like that out there to God, to the universe, and then boom, you get this reaction? It may not be what you expected, right? Well, that's what happened to me. I became aware of new opportunities, new strategies that were really coming into my awareness, like energy models, such as therapeutic touch and healing touch. Soon I discovered aromatherapy, which I knew smelled good and made me feel good, but I then discovered the chemistry of essential oils and how that had clinical implications for healing. That really was amazing information for my geeky science brain. And intuitively, I knew that movement was vital for healing. I'd been doing movement and dance all my life, and I wanted to integrate it into my own practice. And I found modalities like Nia and Ageless Grace, which were fun, moving, yet healing for the body, the mind, and the spirit. Now, my five plus years in critical care had left me burned out, that had left me traumatized. And I would wake up at night with nightmares and wondering, did I do the right medication? Did I provide the right treatment? And I now realized I was dealing with PTSD. So I began to use my new tools for my renewal and my life balance. I started to be alive again, felt an energy again surge into my career. I wanted to share this with my colleagues this was 30 years ago and healthcare systems and professionals were not embracing integrative therapies. So I was doing these interventions quietly in the closet, so to speak. I was respected as an expert clinical nurse in critical care. And I didn't want my colleagues to think I was crazy or thinking out of the box. And here's an interesting thing. It was my colleagues who started to come to me and say, how are you being so calm? How are you staying in balance in the midst of this chaos around us? Although I was doing this in secret, my vitality, my renewal, my balance was coming back and my joy was coming back. And I'll never forget my friend Gail, who came into the break room one day, sat across from me, had this questioning look on her face. Like she wasn't sure what to say, which is pretty unusual for her because she's pretty direct. and. I asked her, what's up, what's going on? And she said, so what are you doing? You are so grounded, you're, you're, you're together. What's, what's going on? So I came out and I admitted to what I was doing and she became interested. And soon others were becoming, coming together and were interested. And we started doing healing touch for ourselves and for our patients. We started finding this peace and balance with our connections with each other. And later with great success, I was blessed to secure a role using integrative modalities like aromatherapy, guided imagery, healing touch with patients in our cancer center. But soon COVID came and we had another staffing crisis and we are still in recovery. If anything, our healthcare system is in even greater chaos now with little or no support for nurses and other healthcare providers. Some of my colleagues know integrative therapies and they say to me, I am way too busy to apply these to my own self-care. 
And in my mind, I'm thinking, you can't afford not to do this for your own self-renewal. I became disheartened with the system around me. We were no longer working as a team. We are now working in survival mode with the focus of just let me get through the day. And staff turnover and nurse suicide rate is at, a, is at an all time high. Now my focus has always been on holistic patient care and that is still essential. However, my current mission is to transform the healthcare system so that nurses feel empowered and have simple quick tools that they can use even during busy times. This became the foundation for our program, ISTEP, Integrative Supportive Therapy Engagement Program. This program consists of four modules. Each of them have three pillars, relaxation therapy, aromatherapy, and gentle movement therapy. Now, you don't have to be in healthcare to be part of a busy, chaotic environment. That can be happening at your own work setting. That can be happening at home. It can be even be happening with the events of the world around us but you can learn strategies for peace and balance that you can use quickly in five minutes or less. And this is important for your health and for your well-being. So I invite you to get my free guide on three ways to overcome stress and overwhelm. Learn quick tips that you can achieve for balance in your life and in your overall well-being. See the link in the chat? And I want to thank you. My name is Deborah Reese, and I am the Empowered Nurse Advocate. Thank you. Let's hear it for Deborah Reese. Amazing, amazing. And um, I love the mission that you're on. And we all do know that our healthcare um, industry is in crisis. And this is part of the way that we're going to be able to transform it, starting with the, the workers, the nurses, and the professionals themselves. Thank you for all you do for holding the flag and leading the way. And not for nothing, everybody, as a nurse, she's giving us a recipe to help us too. So let's use it. <laughs> let's go ahead and grab those free gifts to transform and overcome stress and overwhelm. Five minutes. We can all find those five minutes. Thank you, Deb. So good. So good.